Hello, welcome to Behind the Scenes for my episode of James Chats with Brizzy Voices. Wow. <laughs> I got wax on me! Oh no! <laughs> so I really wanted to recreate the D&D scene from Stranger Things Season 4 with Eddie Munson as the DM. And I figured Brizzy is my DM. The foil was like blocking her perfectly. <laughs> it just made sense. So we set up this whole D&D thing. I tried to replicate as much as I could, and I based off of this picture that I just put in the editing. We'll start with the camera. This is my Panasonic GH5. I am running audio directly into it with a Behringer mixer, and I have a Sigma 17 to 50 lens with a speed booster on there. That's the basic setup. I am shooting in a log format, and that is going over HDMI to my, oh, my Ninja recorder which uh, records to ProRes right onto, uh, right onto an SSD. So that's uh, that's the camera setup. You look under there, we got a boom mic, uh, Samson C02 for all the people that wanna know the exact specifications. I also taped a little lav mic transmitter and that's going into the other channel just as a, as a little backup. Lighting, this was the most important part and the most difficult part in the scene Eddie Munson has a very like heavy backlight and a subtle soft fill light. So what I did was I used my big old diffuser panel, my my cob light over there. I'm bouncing it off the ceiling and through that. That is uh, probably my favorite technique for lighting something because it's nice and soft. And I turn it down pretty low, especially compared to that backlight because in the scene. Specifically, there's like a really heavy backlight there. I also have a bunch of candles, which uh, are real. This was actually all of my budget. <laughs> my, my $30 budget for this video <laughs> was buying all those candles. <laughs> so that's uh, that's where, where that went. Back there. Oh yeah, there's one there, there and back there. And this one's on a little PVC <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, well, I, okay. So I needed another candle to be over here. Well, I wanted another candle and uh, I didn't really have a good surface to put it on. From well, here, it looks like a three foot long candle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's just, I just did this to put it on a light stand so that it could, it could poke up into the shot. And this was a completely locked off shot. I'm not like moving the cameras around. When, I ha when you have a very limited budget and limited uh, resources, it, uh, you can know, work with what you got. And then up here, this is a, just a GBM LED panel, and it's like a set that I got. They're like RGB lights. They're great. You can set them to whatever color temperature you want. And I made this one a little bit cooler of a color temperature compared to that because there's a bit of a contrast. Warmer light on the front, sort of motivated by the candles, and then a stage light because in the scene they're like in like a theater room stage area. And so they have like a spotlight on him there. The foil, by the way, uh, was actually important because on my lens, I have a filter, which is a, it's called a, uh, a mist filter. You can buy them as black pro mist filters, but they're like $150, $125 or whatever. So I made this with an $8 filter and some black spray paint. What that does is it, it makes light sources glow, right? So the, the candles, you see have like a glow around them and that's what this does. It also kind of softens the skin tones a little bit and just makes for a more Does it work if you put it over look. a phone camera? Probably. I wonder, let's see. I don't know if it did anything. But it also makes it susceptible to like heavy flaring. And since we have such a heavy backlight, this is shielding the lens from any light. The DM screen, I, mm. I found the files online for this printed them off and then glued them onto a frozen pizza box. Well, in the scene, is it just a booklet that he has propped up? The first, like, first edition DM screen was a bifold screen. And then I think afterwards they came up with the trifold and now they have four or five panels or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's like what the, the first edition DM screen was. And then in the shot, he has like a binder yeah. uh, on the other side with a clip. And, you know, I wanted attention to detail. So I, I put, love those details. I, I put, <laughs> one of my favorite details. Put a clip there. As um, soon as I saw, I was like, binder with a clip. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't have the exact same clip, but you know, I had a clip, and I think it, it looks pretty good. I think that's it. 
yeah, that's everything. Thank you for the, watching this, and thank you for watching the episode. If you already have, if you haven't, do it. Thank also, you. Also, I got I got like rings, and I got this like '80s watch off of eBay, and um, this is like a necklace that I have chained around my wrist. And Lizzie drew on bat tattoos <laughs> and Sharpie, and I already have this temporary tattoo. This kind of convenient placing of D and D things, and I called my hair. <laughs> and Tessa loaned me this shirt. Thank you, Tessa. Yeah, so thank you, Tessa. Thank you, Brizzy. Thank you, Lizzie, for filming behind the scenes and for tolerating this for the last couple of days. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.